Hello, my name is Gareth McLaren. I am the European Artist in Residence for the William S. Haynes Company. William S. Haynes Company is the oldest continuously manufacturing flute company in the world. We've been going since 1888, uh, based in Boston, in Massachusetts, in the United States. Uh, they've gone around various different locations in that wonderful city of Boston, uh, in, uh, in Hanover Street and Piedmont Street and Washington Street and all these uh, famous places in Boston uh, and now are based in a state-of-the-art purpose-built facility in Acton which is just north and west of the centre of the city. Uh, Haynes have got an artist list to really be um, very proud of indeed um, that, that includes names like uh, Sir James Galway, uh, Emmanuel Paud from the Berlin Philharmonic, Ransom Wilson, Maxence Laria, and, uh, and really very many others you should check out on the Haynes website. So now we're going to talk about the 800 series. Uh, now the 800 series, uh, we have we have pointed key work, um, so which which comes normally as standard on professional instruments. Again, we have things like the double sprung thumb B flat key, which is a professional feature but on an intermediate flute. Um, we also have a B to C sharp trill key. This is the most useful trill key on the flute by a mile. Um, it means that you can play uh, obviously B to C sharp, but also C to C sharp. You can play a uh, high F sharp to high G sharp, and you can also play a really nice, neat G to A trill. Um, I am currently having my Haynes flute, uh, my handmade Haynes flute made, and um, by the time this video is ready, I will have it. I'm very excited. Um, and this will come with a B to C sharp trill key because I just use it all the time. So it's a really handy, uh, handy little key, and I'll demonstrate that for you in the video later. Um, again, we come uh, with B for the standard, it's American flute, so we want to have it come with American specification, also with open holes. It is also supplied with plugs, but you, you don't want to use those. Um, and you're probably going to be looking, uh, this is going to be the experienced amateur, this is a, a, an older high school student, um, probably looking sort of towards this grade 7, grade 8 level. It also comes as standard with a solid gold uh, riser also, 14 karat gold riser. Uh, in this. Um, having different metals uh, in, in the riser does alter the sound. Um, if you prefer it, then it's better. If you do not prefer it, then you can save the money and not get it. But a lot of people do prefer the, the, the richness, the warmth that you, that you can get from 14 karat gold. Um, and so that, that comes as a standard with, with that. Again, it's a head, hand cut head joint um, cut by the same uh, person who cuts the custom head joints that leave the workshop for about £10,000. Um, so this is a, an affordable way to get a sophisticated head joint cut and professional options that normally would, uh, would, would cost quite a lot of money but are not available on an intermediate flute. For many years, uh, the only Haynes flute that you could buy, realistically, was a professional model instrument made of either solid silver or solid gold. There have been very many famous uh, flutes that have come out of the Haynes Flute Company. So we have uh, Rampal's solid gold, 14 carats, number 29333, which he bought in 1959. Um, you also have uh, the platinum, the solid platinum flute made for uh, Georges Barrère, uh, for which the composition uh, Density 21.5 was written. So these are really sort of famous, interesting, historical flutes that the Haynes Company have made. Um, and primarily that is still the, 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 the main focus of, 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 the, of the company, making a beautiful professional this is a solid silver model here. We have a solid 19.5 carat gold model here. So that has been, historically, that's been where Haynes have been working. But since being purchased 10 years ago by the Eastman Music Company, um, they've now been able to expand the range to involve uh, upgrade, step up, intermediate and conservatoire level instruments. <laughs> 